It's been a while, but Damien Bartonic is once again <laughs> gracing us with his presence during this NFL report. Damien, it's good to be back at the desk with you. Yeah, it feels good, man. It's been so long, but I'm just so glad we're here. We've had a couple of week by week. Yeah, yeah. I don't, typically, you only get one week, but we've had like three weeks, but it's all good. Now, some of these teams, I know Brendan was just talking about like the pumpkin patch. I know that's a cool thing. Well, some <laughs> of these teams, they didn't go to the pumpkin patch. All right, I, I, But one team that did, Bert, t- tell me about these Cowboys, man. Tell me. Feel free, man. Hey, the Cowboys handled their own against Carolina yeah. in Carolina, winning the game 33-10. to Dak Prescott with, a, you know, finding the end zone right there, as you see. C.D. Lamb finding the end zone again, keeping that streak alive. What do you make of the Cowboys right now coming off of another impressive win? So some of the people that we have on our network, like, you know, Skip Bayless on the other Fox uh, networks, he loved this win and had an, an 8 on 1 to 10 on impressive scale. For me, Bert, I was kind of more of like a 2 or a 3. Uh, they did handle business, but it was against the worst team in pro football. Uh, I will say also, when Dak's efficient like this, right, he had 11, uh, 11.3 total EPA, which means uh, when you level out all the plays, he added 11 points to those. Uh, his completion percentage was above expectation. But the one thing that stuck out to me was he wasn't really pushing the ball down the field. His average depth of target, so for those at home, uh, he was only throwing the ball an average of 5.6 yards every throw. So he's not pushing the ball down the field, but he's efficient, and Burt, we know that's what they want to do. Absolutely, and if you're a Cowboys fan, you're definitely excited, just mm. like meteorologist Britton Musel, yeah. who had a little bit of trash talking <laughs> yeah. going on. But here's my quick question for you. They've beat the Giants twice. Yeah. They beat the Jets, the Patriots, the Chargers, the Rams, and now the Panthers. Mm-hmm. Who's the best team that they've beat? I guess the Rams. Yeah, or I mean, or the Chargers. But all of those teams are very much so up and down, man. I, I don't, I don't. I, I would say, I would say the Rams or the Chargers, but they have yet to be a very good team. And I, and trust me, I'm there with you. I'm excited to see them when they play Seattle, when they play uh, Philly. They also have a game coming up uh, against Detroit later in the year. So there's a lot of big games for Dallas. But let's go to the next Texas team, the Houston Texans. My man, C.J. Stroud, he's looked fantastic. Burt, just tell me, man, what do you think about C.J. Stroud, man? I am on the C.J. Stroud train, just like you have been all Uh year. Rookie of the year, Mm -hmm. I can definitely see it right now. He threw another two touchdown passes yesterday. He did have three turnovers, and, you know, I guess that's kind of to be expected. He is a rookie, but they are playing the Cardinals, so I'm not going to say they're playing world beaters, but, hey, Houston gets the win. They're one game out of the division lead, trailing Jacksonville. What do you make of the Houston Texans? Uh, I think the Houston Texans are a really solid team. They like to run the football, as you see, but they can also push the ball down the field. Uh, C.J. Stroud, like we mentioned, he's been so impressive. He has yet to throw an interception when pressured for a young quarterback that really, really uh, translates well for his long-term career, uh, career, really projects very well. Not only that, on throws of 20-plus yards, the deep ball. We all love the deep ball. Seven touchdowns. Zero interceptions. He's been phenomenal. Bert, you said rookie of the year. If they won a couple more games, we might be talking MVP, but that's a whole other discussion, I if guess. If they win a playoff game, yeah, they I'll, I'll put him you in know, there. Yeah, we might, we might. But he looks, he looks fantastic. I want to he ask does. you uh, real quick back to the Cowboys. Bryce Young, I feel like he played really solid yesterday. The numbers normally look like it. There was one drive when they were down 17-3 to to get them to 17-10. to I thought he was excellent. Uh, I know we don't show him a lot of love on this show, but... Bryce, uh, Bryce Young has, has done very well. My last one for you, before we, before we have to kind of wrap it up here, Commanders Giants, you're a Giants fan. I'm a Commanders fan. Go ahead, man. Let, let me know what you saw. Well, it's uh, another season sweep of the Giants over the Commanders. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but it does happen. Yeah. Look, if you look at it realistically, the Giants have had Washington's number now yeah. for several years. The defense forced six turnovers. Tommy DeVito, the New Jersey native, chicken parm, lives at home with his parents. Three touchdown passes, two to Barkley, one to Slayton. Look, it's exciting. The Giants have three wins. You take what you can get. As a Washington fan, though, you had to have thought that Washington had a really good shot to win that game. Uh, I did, but I also knew it was Washington. And I, you know, I, I know, I know Washington like the back of my hand. Real quick before we go, last two uh, games on Fox, we have the Packers and the Lions. We have the Dolphins and the Jets. I'm going Lions and I'm going Dolphins. You going the same way? Lions and Dolphins, and that game is at MetLife Stadium. Tim Boyle is starting for the yeah. Jets. There's a lot of Dolphins fans in northern New Jersey, so yeah. whomever is going to the game, they're going to have a party. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Bert, it's been nice being here with you, man. we got to do this a little bit more often, right? we got to do this a little bit more. 